This is a screenshot from last year, and this is a screenshot from this year. Hey everyone, Jacob here, and in today's video, I wanted to share with you how Airbnb's product detail page has been evolving over the last year or so. By comparing kind of April 2022 screenshot with a more recent one, we identified seven differences. Hopefully these become inspirational for potentially new testing ideas or new design considerations. So I'll go through some of these changes one by one, with the first one being the kind of reshuffling of these benefits or reassurances about the property. And here we can clearly see the introduction of fast Wi-Fi, while great location has been removed. So perhaps this is an indication of some experiments where Airbnb is trying to discover what is the most desirable, what is the most uh, sought after by users or customers. And I think this is a very nice reminder of always actively trying to surface the kind of most important features of a particular product or, or experience or service. The second difference is the introduction of air cover, which is a specific guarantee for like host cancellations and listing inaccuracies. Interestingly, it's not very general. It's not ambiguous. It's not like, hey, 100% guarantee you're, you're covered, but it lists out these reasons. And I think that's also kind of powerful. Um, so it's less ambiguous and less chance of people kind of imagining what could go wrong, but they're listed out here exactly. Third difference are the introduction of more amenities. So I think in the past there were like 47 amenities here versus around 63 for this specific listing. I'm not sure if this is something that was A-B tested or just added by the owner, but nevertheless, we, we see this kind of trend and in, in more amenities being displayed. Of course, through a condensed way as well, so only the top five or so are shown. The fourth difference is this kind of postponing of this minimum a stay requirement, right? So in the past, we see this minimum stay 30 nights that was more visible right away. Whereas what Airbnb has moved towards is, or at least it looks like, it seems like, is more of a kind of a dynamic or postponed uh, message. So this kind of 30 night minimum is only displayed after someone chooses a date. So it's further down in the funnel or in the, in the path of kind of reserving a, a property here. Um, I think this is interesting in general, as a general panel, just like to show these kind of negative warnings or so, uh, only when they make sense. I think this has a benefit of, of um, yeah, not, sc not scaring too many people away right away if, if not necessary, right? The fifth difference here is a little shift from these kind of reddish, pinkish icons towards these monochrome ones. Um, doesn't feel like a really big change maybe gives a little bit more emphasis towards only the most important things, such as like the call to action. Um, not sure if this was A-B tested or not, but yeah, this is something, um, another difference here. The sixth difference is the cancellation policy that has been shifted a little bit higher up. Maybe that's a bit more important, um, just to kind of make that a bit more visible if people can cancel or not. And the seventh difference are these expanded summaries. If we look at these kind of house rules here, so in the past, they only had like a summary of, of the check-in time. They shifted towards adding a little bit more information like checkout and maximum number of guests. I think this is a really interesting little pattern in the way on mobile where they have, uh, they're not overwhelming with information, but they're doing a really good job in, again, summarizing with the kind of key uh, key attributes. So every little piece of information is again on the, on a separate line, makes it perhaps a bit more legible, readable. And as a little added bonus on the desktop side, as I was adjusting the screen resolution, I noticed also a little something interesting in how the kind of page behaved in the way potentially how it was avoiding the kind of uh, a false bottom. So as we, as we resize the window, here, what happens is that kind of the, the core image, uh, they decrease in size to give room, make room for the uh, additional elements that are kind of teasing, so to say, uh, that there's more on the page. Perhaps Airbnb discovered that this is interesting or sorry, important information. Um, 
add dates for prices is a kind of a initial beginning of that call to action there. Um, you know, do this in order to see price. We know from past experiments that people are always, or not always, but often uh, looking for prices. So that feels like a little carrot on a stick, um, a potential motivator, so to say. So yeah, hopefully this was inspirational. Hopefully this inspires new experiment ideas, uh, encourages you to test some of these. Um, I'd like to believe that there's some positive probability attached to some of these, given that again, Airbnb runs a lot of experiments. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and let me know in the comments what you think. Cheers.